Hello, I'm Eric. In this video, we're going to do something a little bit different. So, a lot of you may have been exposed to the stereotypes of prison where people trade cigarettes and stuff like that over card games or whatever, they gamble cigarettes. That doesn't really happen anymore. S smoking is not a thing in most prisons. It's not allowed. However, people still smoke. <clears throat> so, that presents a question. If people smoke in prison, not really allowed to have a lighter, how do you light your cigarettes? There's a few different ways people do it. I think a lot of people just assume that, uh, guys, hold on, let me fix some of this light here. There we go. Less blue light on my face. <clears throat> A lot of people assume that guys just sneak lighters in, which sometimes they do, but most of the time they don't. There are several different ways to light a cigarette in prison. Now, let me tell you something. Don't try this at home. You can get hurt. I have done it before. When I was in prison for the first few months that I was in prison, I smoked. Although I quit after that because I almost got a new case at one point because of it. So, you know, I just decided it was in my best interest to stop. Not that I had anything against smoking, per se, even though it is unhealthy. There's a lot of things that are unhealthy. It was more because I didn't want to do more time. Now, one way that we used to light our cigarettes in prison. This is a prison fan. This is legitimately the fan that I had in prison. That's my number and the date of issue to turbo fan they sell these on canteen for about twenty seven dollars because most prisons don't have air conditioning including most of the prisons in the state of kansas it's a working fan <clears throat> we're going to use this to light a cigarette <clears throat> so this comes apart okay and i'm actually going to move this just a little bit bring it out maybe down so you can see this a little bit better now this cover unclips i already unclipped it it's basically these little plastic bits around the edges just little clips you can get them off with a pair of tweezers and that's actually how we used to take them off and you take these blades off and they just slip right off <clears throat> now take a look in here this is what we're going to be using. Most of these fans have a wire nut on them. They come from the manufacturer like that. And if you take that wire nut off, I'll show you in a minute, you can have those two exposed wires. But you see, there's something else we have to deal with here. I don't know if I can get that in frame. The um, These little zip ties. We're going to take those off right quick so we have better access to these wires. See if I can get this off here. I don't know if I can get this to where you can see what I'm doing. Because I don't want to cut these wires. And this is plugged in. It's just the easiest way for me to do this at the moment. I don't feel like doing multiple takes of this. So if I shock myself, that won't be the first time I've been shocked. I am not afraid of electricity. But that is probably why you shouldn't do this at home. Okay, so I cut these things off. They're just little wire ties. I apologize if my fingernails look a little bit grimy. I do construction, so my fingernails are usually dirty. <laughs> it is what it is. But these are the zip ties. And now that they're off, we have a little bit more access to that. We can move these wires around now. This is the main power wire. And it's wire nutted in. I don't know why they don't just have a solid wire going there, but they wire nutted in. And so what we're gonna do, and this is still unplugged, so I can see what I so I can show you what I'm doing. I don't have a spot where I can get this camera set up so it's looking down. So I'm just gonna show you what I'm going to be doing. 
you're probably not going to be able to see in this while I am doing it. So, I just wanted to show you. So, I have pulled those wires apart. And basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to be flicking these things together to create a spark. All right? Now, <clears throat> two parts to this. We don't just need a spark. We need fuel. Okay? Now, everything that I'm doing, for the most part, is based on stuff that we actually had in prison. For example, prison fan. These fingernail clippers that I use to cut that apart are prison fingernail clippers. That's what I use to take the zip ties off. <clears throat> Next thing you need is a Q-tip. They sell these on Canteen as well. And we're going to have to fluff this out a little bit. This is going to act as a wick. Okay. And we need to fluff that up just a little bit. Get that nice and fluffy. See? And that's so oxygen can get in there. This is what the Q-tip normally looks like. That's our fluffed up side. All right. I'm gonna fluff it up just a little bit more. There we go. Lots of air can get in there. Now, next thing we need, if I light this on fire, if I can get this to catch a spark, for one, it's gonna be hard to get it to catch a spark. Okay, it's just, it's real humid out. That's not gonna wanna light on fire. This is hair grease. This is a petroleum-based hair grease. They sell this on Canteen as well. Although this is not one that they sold in prison, they sold a lot of different varieties of this very stuff. So, <clears throat> this is going to act as a fuel. It's going to make it light easier, <clears throat> and once it lit, it is lit, it is going to burn longer. Okay? So what we're going to do is we're just going to put a little bit of this hair grease on here. And that will keep it from going right out. And you don't want to put too much because then this cotton will clump together and then you can't get air in there and it's not going to light. But something just about like that. Not a lot. <clears throat> you, you want to get about the right amount. Although, like I said... Don't try this at home. You can get hurt. Okay. <clears throat> I think we're about ready to do this. Oh, yeah. Last piece. Got my little cigars here. Couldn't get them in prison, but... I am not... Doing the whole prison cigarette thing. I'm not doing it. Don't feel like smoking something that came out of somebody's butt, so... Even though most of the contraband in prison comes from the officers, not the inmates smuggling stuff in. So, yeah. All right. Well, I guess we're about ready to get started. So we got to be very careful because we now got a hot wire here. Okay. That's not my hot wire. The other side is the hot wire. And it... Sh well, that's hot. So it'll shock me if I touch it where it's not insulated this one not so much but this one most definitely okay so we're wanting to avoid that and i'm going to turn the dial on here so that it can and will make a complete circuit and now comes a moment of truth This is hard to do without getting shocked, which I have gotten shocked doing this before. Not in a long time, but. Okay. I have that braced against the housing and the fan. Hold on just a second. I'm actually, there we go, oh, oh, oh. I'll get this over here, 
So you want your spark to catch on that wire. There we go. And it's not on the light. It's been a while since I've done this, so bear with me. Oh, almost went. And that is how you light a cigarette in prison. Just spark those two wires together and it goes. But like I said, do not try that at home. I forgot something important though. I know you're probably thinking that you just ruined a $27 fan so you could light a cigarette. <clears throat> well, not really. See, I just put these two wires back together. Like so. Put the wire nut back on. push them back up out of the way so they don't get hit by the fan blades <clears throat> throw my dirty q-tip away actually I would be flushing that down the toilet <clears throat> then stick our fan blades back on like so And then we stick our uh, cover back on. Make sure it snaps into place so the guards don't think you've taken it apart. If you get shook down, Next, just flip that on and enjoy your prison AC. Blow all the smoke out of your cell. Okay, now I'm done. I almost forgot that part, but, beh. None of us are perfect, right? Hope you all have a good evening. Again, don't try that at home. Can't stress that enough. Don't do it. I'm not responsible. You, if you fuck yourself up, it's on you. Right. Right.